And I'm in downtown Los Angeles at the Staples Center for Disney on Ice's Rockin' Ever After. Let's go get in the holiday spirit with some of your favorite celebs. season are you excited for tonight's show I'm so excited my daughter thinks it is a movie and I can't wait to show her that it's actually ice skaters skating around princess ice skaters no less you, know, you put ice skating really crazy costumes I saw some bikini tops even for Disney scandalous that is scandalous you know sometimes we gotta watch out with our four-year-olds what they're watching but hopefully it will be appropriate I think it will. and the music you as a musician what's your favorite Disney song Oh my gosh, my favorite Disney song, they probably won't play it tonight, but I love It's a Small World After All. But I'm, I'm such a huge fan of Disney music, you know, uh, everything from, all the music from Mary Poppins, I'm a huge fan of. I, I just saw the movie, actually. It, I know, it was, I did the premiere. Wasn't it so good that we released it? I interviewed Dick Van Dyke. I was like, wow, like I was really I blown love away. Dick Van Dyke. Yeah. I can't even believe it. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited my daughter's connecting with Disney and the characters and the songs, and I can't wait to look at a lot of the old movies with her as well. And what are you working on musically? I'm such a fan wow, of yours, I have you. to say. Well, I put out a rock record earlier in the year as well as a kid's record and book. So I'm actually right now in the process of writing new songs for a new record for next year, but I did just put a holiday song out, which you can find on iTunes. Tell us, so iTunes, what's the name of the song? It's called A Holiday Song. And it's not your typical holiday song. I like that, you're like a holiday song. That's the name, that's very smart. It's not a typical holiday song. You'll have to hear it. Okay. Any teasers? Can you tell me a little bit why? Um, it's more about, uh, probably less about the joy and more about the tantrums. Hey, that's part of the holidays as well. Really you spend a lot of time with family. Yeah, tantrums of all ages. Are you on social media, Twitter, Instagram? Can you share your handles with us? I've got great fans on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. I'm at Lisa Loeb, so it's easy. And what do people mostly tweet you about? Wow, people tweet me about what they eat, who they dated, what they wear. Gla I have an eyewear line. People tweet me about which glasses they like the best, um, pictures of their kids. You name it, I get the tweets. Yeah. I love it. And I, I was such a fan, too, of your reality show and me and my friends would watch it. You were just so charming and so just inspiring. So thank you for being so raw and honest on that show. Oh, thank you. Well, it was important for me to share my story because I think, like you said, a lot of people connected to it. People, Somebody being in their 30s, working, you know, wanting a future that might include marriage and kids and, and all that and what I was going through. So I'm glad to have shared it with you. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, so Disney on Ice, what's your favorite thing about being out this evening? Well, I, right now, I really love skating. Awesome, so am I. I mean, We're all the greatest cats ever. And, like, ice skating just goes with the holiday season, don't you think? It's just fun. Yeah, it is, really. So you have had such the season on Glee. Talk to me about working on set with this amazing cast and crew. Well, it's this amazing. One, so I can't give you any spoilers. So I give you any spoilers. Um, if you see the last week episode, oh my god, oh, it was so amazing. You will love, uh, you laugh so hard. And I love your character because you, you have kind of a temper and you're a diva, but you're also really sweet, so that must I'm be really, really fun. Not really. <laughs> Not like Miley Cyrus, oh, Lizzie Lohan. Not like Miley Cyrus. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about Christmas? Um, just being with my family, having help Coco opening presents. And are you on social media? Do you are you on Twitter or Instagram? Well, I am in both. Um, I'm on Instagram, and I also on Twitter. And do you 
like to post a lot of photos? Do you feel that you're active? But click on this. We always like to find out what you like to do on social media. Well, if you go on Twitter, um, you can go to the Laura Potter at the Laura Potter. And if you go to Instagram, the same thing. Or you could go to Lauren Pack Bell. Yeah, Lauren Pack Bell, something like that. Of course. We're going to start following you. And finally, I will. I'll follow you. And who is your absolute favorite Disney character? I love Ariel and her friend. Ariel's my favorite, too. I'm like, is it the long red hair? I don't know. Yes, maybe. I think it's a prince. <laughs> this is going for. All right, so I'm going with the hair. You're going with the prince. Thank you so much. Have fun tonight. It was so nice to meet you. Disney on Ice. This is total fun holiday season. What's your favorite Disney character and movie? Ariel and the Little Mermaid. That is like the group girl consensus. I have to say, yes. Because she's awesome. And who doesn't want to be a mermaid and be able to sing? Those are two things I never achieved in my lifetime. You still have time. It's more likely that I'll become a mermaid than I will get the gift of song. With the way technology is going, it's possible. Is it possible? Okay. I believe it's Disney. The magical things right? happen. <laughs> That's the world we're living in tonight, so I'd like to believe it's possible. You've had an amazing year so far. Talk to me about some of your personal highlights. Uh, personal highlights. I just did a cartoon that was really fun called Rick and Morty. And it's for adult swim. It's um, Dan Harmon and Justin Roiland. And that was a blast. So you get to be kind of funny and dirty, maybe. It's really fun. <laughs> and then I get a kids cartoon that's going to be on Monday. It's Disney. And it's called Prep and Landing. And it's um, it's uh, like a Christmas film. So it was really fun to get to do. I have a three-year-old, so it's fun to get to do something for him. Yeah, it's different, you know, when you have kids. My brother has kids, and just you start watching so much more Disney and things like that. And he's like, the characters are so cool. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's. Uh, it's so it's that's the fun thing is that it's it's fun to watch like it always put fun stuff in for the parents too it's, yeah it's great they're like we know you guys have to watch so we're going to take care of you as well right totally before we started talking shout out to the man behind the camera huge scrubs fan <laughs> so we have to talk about obviously it's such an iconic show looking back now um just when you were in that experience did you guys know what you were on to at that time I mean, it was the most amazing job I'd had. Like, I couldn't, I mean, we would look forward to getting our new scripts and opening them up and finding out what we got to do that week. I mean, the writers were so talented and they would give us such different stuff to do all the time. It was never boring because it was cool flashback sequences and, and uh, they would always put so much heart into it. So, yeah, I mean, it was really, it was really, really awesome. And such a motley crew of characters. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, and like, and it was, uh, it was, it was, um, yeah, just such a rare experience to get to work with a group of people like that, like everyone, you know, the whole, the whole thing, like Neil Flynn, who played the janitor, is one of the funniest people you'll ever meet, and like they would, the, the writers would literally write like, um, you know, his line, and they put in brackets or whatever Neil says, because he would just go off and it was. Hey, sometimes you just gotta let people do what they do best, right? Right? Like Ariel. Like like Ariel. And then I have to ask, so with Zach Braff and the, the crowdfunding, the Kickstarter for his film, yes. has he been hitting you up for any money, support, role? <laughs> is he like, girl, I need like a mill? I'm so proud of him. How awesome is that? It's really cool. Like, it's amazing. It's amazing. I mean, he raised... It, it, in the first two days, most of it is incredible, and I think it just—it's such a groundbreaking new way to fundraise. Um, we copied him and did a CrowdRise, which is sort of like the philanthropic version of Kickstarter, and um, to raise money for a charity. And um, it was a really—it was a really neat experience. Like it's amazing to see how you can, you know, with the help of it was like all of my buddies were helping me and tweeting about it, and it's like a. A really neat way to, to do it, but yeah, he, he did an awesome job, and, and uh, the movie's supposed to be fantastic. It's really nice when you see social media used for good, and I've really been proud of how we've been seeing that, and it's great to yeah. hear that you've had that experience as well. Yeah, it was really it was really cool. It was really fun. Okay, so what are your handles? Where can we follow you? Twitter, Facebook, Instagram? Oh, um, I'm sort of new to this whole social Ooh. media world. I've decided to join the 1980s, and... Uh, 
Joy and Technology. Um, too late. At, and then my name. But I don't have the other fancy things you just mentioned yet. No, Instagram, that's pictures only. They say it's like Twitter for people that can't type. I, I, would, lo I would love to do that. I'm, that'll be my next goal. Okay, next goal. Okay. I'm going to count you to it. I'll be your first follower. Okay. Ten, three, two. Hope you guys had fun. We got to go hit the ice. This is my new best friend, Mickey Mouse. Bye, guys. <laughs> Hello, when you're watching, click on this. Hey, it's Joey Batone, this is my daughter Brianna, and you're watching Click On This. Yes, this. Click on this. This. Yes. Click on it. Now. Now?